As the end of the 18th century approaches, a tidal wave of change is poised to engulf the American colonies. There is a battle brewing to decide the fate of the colonies, as the country is split between loyalists, patriots, and those who remain undecided. Soldiers, spies, Indians, farmers, statesmen, and townsfolk have many different ideas, perspectives, and motivations behind the American Revolution. The coming years will be ones of conflict, hardship, hope, and I pray victory. The forging of a great nation cannot take place without dedication, determination, and sacrifice. Oh, and my name? My name is Benjamin Franklin. Duty calls me now to London, England, where I must wage a war of words with the British government. But I leave my Philadelphia print shop in capable hands. My assistant, Moses, whom I have taught everything I know about journalism and the running of a newspaper. Oh yes, and his two young apprentices, Sarah Phillips and James Hiller, who must learn how to work together to separate truth from hearsay as they pursue the most complete and accurate story for the Pennsylvania Gazette. As other voices try to sway the people to their point of view, it is only by excellence in reporting that the Gazette will be a successful and compelling voice for freedom and liberty. As reporters, you'll have to ask the right questions and get the facts and opinions that make the most accurate and interesting story. As a matter of fact, an exciting assignment has just come in. You'll find it over on the bulletin board. If we need some help, we can always call on Ben's expertise. Moses told us all about Ben's principles of journalism. Let's not forget that we should make a sketch of any interesting places or people that we see. We can pick the best sketch for our newspaper story back at the print shop. This is the bulletin board. The name of your assignment is above the frame that will hold the newspaper front page. Select the frame, and I'll fill you in on the details of the Boston Tea Party. I just received word that a shipment of tea was destroyed in Boston. Folks are calling it the Boston Tea Party. Who knows what this may mean for the cause of liberty? Oh boy, this is big. I bet the Sons of Liberty are behind this. What a disgraceful waste of tea. No matter who's responsible, the British Parliament won't stand for it. We need to find out all the details. Sarah, James, it's up to you. You need to determine the who, what, when, and where behind the tea that was destroyed. And I want thorough reporting here. Be sure to get at least two quotes about why people think it happened. And if at all possible, try to make one of them Samuel Adams. My instinct tells me he was involved somehow. Samuel Adams? That would be a scoop. The questions you need to ask are in your notebook. Remember. Excellence in reporting means a better story, which will equal more newspapers sold. Let the voice of liberty ring free and clear. Good luck, and Godspeed. Boston. Massachusetts Bay Colony. Finally. First, a long ride on horseback, then a two-week voyage up the coast. I don't think you have any cause to complain. If you want to be a reporter, you have to go where there's something to report. Okay, okay. Let's see if someone around here knows what happened to all that tea. So, isn't Boston about the same size as London? Good gracious, no. London is the largest city in the British Empire. A milliner's shop. Milliners sew hats and other accessories. I wonder if her business will be affected if trouble comes to the colony. Madam, would you mind answering a few questions? 
were reporters from the Pennsylvania Gazette. My, you're a long way from home then. I'd be happy to help. I'm just closing up my shop, you know, but I'm having trouble finding my best pair of scissors. I've been all over town today and could have left them anywhere. The church, that ship at the harbor. Sure, we can keep our eyes open for them. This part of town looks promising. Rumor has it that Samuel Adams is staying around here somewhere. A coil of rope! Go away! I'm busy! Hey! That's the Wheatley House across the street! I do believe you are right. This old barn may be sheltering a bunch of British soldiers soon. The citizens of Boston are being forced to house them, thanks to the Quartering Act. I would think that it would be an honor to help His Majesty's troops. A bayonet. His Majesty's soldiers are very well trained in fighting with the bayonet. They fit on the end of their muskets. The colonial militia do not have nearly enough of these important weapons. All right. The kitchen. I smell freshly baked bread. You're just like Henri. There's more to life than food. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have a minute to answer a few questions? Normally, I wouldn't mind. But right now I'm a little distracted. I'm all out of paper, so I can't finish this poem I'm working on. Poem? Wait a minute. Are you Phyllis Wheatley, the famous poet who wrote those inspiring calls for freedom and liberty, even though in slavery yourself? I am Phyllis Wheatley, and my situation is very different from most slaves. The Wheatley family treat me as a member of the family, and I am thankful to God for giving me the chance to express myself in poetry. I'm very sorry, but I really must look for some more paper before I can talk to you further. Go away. I'm busy. Go away. I'm busy. I just can't understand why the people of Boston can't be grateful. After all, Parliament did drop all the towns in taxes, except for a small tax on imported tea. It's the principle of the thing. We've got no say in the British government at all. So why should we pay any taxes to them? I'm not too sure about this. I've never been in a tavern before in my life. As a journalist, we've got to go where the stories are. I've heard rumors that Samuel Adams met with some of his fellow patriots in this place. Sir, we're trying to find out some information about the Boston Tea Party. And find Samuel Adams, if he's still in Boston. Well, I'm John Adams, and... John Adams? The famous lawyer who defended the British soldiers after the Boston Massacre? I guess we won't be getting a patriot perspective from you. Hmm, well, you never know. Remember, as journalists, it's important to learn all sides to the story. Sam is cautious about who he meets with these days. He's continuing to work for the cause in a house near here and not accepting visitors. Tell you what, if you'll do me a favor, I'll pass along your request to interview him. I lost the quill pen I use for writing letters to my wife Abigail. Uh, can you find me another? You might check with Phyllis Wheatley, since she does a good amount of writing herself. This paper is handmade from recycled rags. It looks rather like we're leaving the city behind. This stretch of land is called Boston Neck. It joins Boston to the mainland. Pardon me, sir. My name's Sarah Phillips, and this is my, uh, assistant, James Hiller. Assistant? 
I'm the journalist. You've only just arrived from London. London? I'd warrant that you may agree with me then, miss. I'd be happy to give you my opinion about these dreadful goings-on. Such a disgraceful waste of tea. My sentiments exactly. Would you happen to have any tea? I'm desperate for a cup. Some people are making it more difficult for us to buy it here in Boston these days. Would you happen to have any tea? I'm very sorry, but I really must look for some more. Here's your paper. By the way, would you happen to have a spare quill pen we could have? Certainly. I just put one on the table. Please take it with my sincere gratitude. Who do you think destroyed the tea? You know, I never did find out who did it. You know, I never did find out who did it. What actually happened to the tea? Rumor has it that it was dumped somewhere. When was the tea destroyed? Now let me see. I think I remember. I had an errand to the milliner's shop earlier that day. It was December 16th, sometime in the early evening. I was studying Latin vocabulary when I heard mention of a commotion in town. Where was the tea destroyed? I heard it was somewhere in Boston, but not this end of town. Why do you think the tea was destroyed? Some people have lost all patience with Parliament, since they seem bent on taking away our God-given liberty by taxing us without our consent. It's good to see you again. A quill pen? Most quill pens are made from goose feathers. Perfect for writing something important. Sam is cautious about who he Thank you. Abigail likes to be kept up to date with recent events. I'll be sure and let Sam know that you want to talk to him. So, how can I help you two? Who do you think destroyed the tea? I know exactly who, but I don't know if I should say. The group who did it has been known for its dedication to the rights of Americans. What actually happened to the tea? Well, I didn't see what happened, but I don't believe it will be usable anymore. When was the tea destroyed? It was sometime last month, if my memory serves me correctly. Where was the tea destroyed? I read a report describing the whole thing. The tea crates were dumped into Boston Harbor alongside Griffin's Wharf. Why do you think the tea was destroyed? I'm beginning to see the reasons behind these actions. The destruction of the tea is so bold, so daring, so firm, it must have important consequences. Those involved must want Parliament to stop its unfair taxation. I think we should try to find a few more answers to our why Ben St A good journalist gets multiple opinions on when it happened. It looks like we don't have any answers to our I think we should try to find a few more answers to our who question. Ben said to make sure The North Church. What a beautiful building. And I bet there's quite a view of Boston from the top of the tower. These stairs must lead up to the tower. Let's go on up then. Ladies first. A true gentleman would first make sure there's nothing nasty waiting at the top. This is amazing! You could see all the way across the Charles River from here. Perhaps others have enjoyed this very same view. A message on a scroll. Someone may be needing this. Thank you. 
This part of the harbor is known as Griffin's Wharf. We should be able to find out something around here. Isn't that ship back there the Dartmouth? That was one of the ships sent by the British East India Company to carry tea to Boston. Henri, Moses asked us to find out about the Boston Tea Party. Do you know anything about it? May we? Of course. What do you want to know? Who do you think destroyed the tea? Eh, uh, I'm not sure. Sorry. What actually happened to the tea? Maybe somebody drank it. When was the tea destroyed? It happened a few weeks ago, I think. Where was the tea destroyed? In Boston. What a silly question. Why do you think the tea was destroyed? Somebody ate tea. Who can blame them? I do too. Yuck. It is the Dartmouth. Governor Hutchinson insisted that its cargo of tea from the British East India Company was to be unloaded. But some people weren't too happy with that idea because the colonies had no say about the import tax added to the price of tea. We need to find out what happened to that tea. So, all the tea was on this ship? Actually, this was one of three ships with tea, and all of them had their tea destroyed. Here, what you two want? State your business. We're reporters, doing a story on the Boston Tea Party. And loyal British subjects, I might add. At least one of us is. We thought we might find out a few details on the ship, if we may have your permission to look around. You'd find me in a better mood if I could get me a new bayonet. I lost my old bayonet somewhere in the kerfuffle surrounding that blind tea party. If me sergeant finds out, I'll come a cropper. We found a bayonet, sir. Will this do? Oh, so you did. I'm much obliged, miss. You saved me bacon. If you want to look around, I'll unlock the cabin for you. You can ask me some questions too, if you like. I know a thing or two I do. Who do you think destroyed the tea? Well, if you ask me, it was probably a bunch of no-good rascals looking for trouble. Lots of townsfolk ate us British soldiers. Lobsterbacks, they call us. It might have been any of them. What actually happened to the tea? Oh, I know all about that. One of me pals was on sentry duty that night. A mob dumped all the tea overboard. When was the tea destroyed? Hmm. Now, it was the night of the 14th. No, no, uh, the 17th, I think. It definitely wasn't the 15th. I was on duty that night. Where was the tea destroyed? All the crates of tea were broken open and dumped into Boston Arbor. Why do you think the tea was destroyed? Why? I know exactly why. These colonists have lost all respect for the mother country. It's we soldiers who have to defend them, and they're not willing to pay their taxes. It's sheer selfishness, if you ask me. Well... Why do you think the tea was destroyed? Why? I know exactly why. These colonists have lost all respect for the mother country. It's we soldiers who have to defend them, and they're not willing to pay their taxes. It's sheer selfishness, if you ask me. The captain's cabin. He should have just sailed back to England with the tea. From what I understand, the captain didn't have a choice. The governor wouldn't allow him to leave. But certain agitated citizens wouldn't let him unload the tea either. A pair of seamstress scissors. Many women learn embroidery and carry scissors with them. A canister of tea. Tea is a very popular drink in the colonies. True patriots won't drink tea anymore, though, to protest the tea tax.
I'd be happy to help. I'm Thank you so much. Even though orders have been down lately, I still keep fairly busy. Now, how can I be of service to you? Who do you think destroyed the tea? I don't feel like I can tell you. Frankly, I'm scared to. The people who did it have very strong feelings about the recent taxes and don't understand why anyone wouldn't share their views. What actually happened to the tea? I don't know very much about it. Well, I know that there were three ships carrying the tea, and all of it was dumped overboard. When was the tea destroyed? I remember when it was. It was just after I put the children to bed for the night. Where was the tea destroyed? I don't know where. Sorry. Why do you think the tea was destroyed? To protest the tea tax. The taxes aren't really that high, you know. I suppose they think it's unfair to be taxed without having a voice in Parliament. I just hope no more violence comes to Boston. The tea was destroyed to make a stand for liberty from unjust laws, like taxes without a voice in government. But since my husband died, I've had myself and the babies to care for. Liberty is all well and good, but if all this trouble affects my business and I lose the store, what will I do? Would you happen to have any tea? Well, we found some tea for you. Though I feel like a traitor giving it to you. True patriots have nothing to do with tea from Britain. Go ahead with your questions. It's a- Who do you think destroyed the tea? Some ruffians from around here, uh, but they were disguised. It was Samuel Adams and the Sons of Liberty. I call them the Sons of Violence. They'll stop at nothing. People have been tarred and feathered for opposing them. What actually happened to the tea? It's too hard for me even to talk about. All that tea, gone! When was the tea destroyed? A day that I'll never forget. It was around the middle of December, right after I got back from my supper in the evening. Where was the tea destroyed? I'm actually not sure exactly where the tea was destroyed. Why do you think the tea was destroyed? Those villains destroyed the tea because they are naughty, rebellious children, wanting their own way instead of trusting Parliament to look after them. Don't they know that colonies are supposed to serve the mother country instead of caring only about their own selfish concerns? Those rebels think that acts like these will force Parliament to agree to their demands. They don't understand that there are costs that come along with the benefits of being part of the British Empire. Those villains dis- It's getting pretty late. Do you think we'll find anything out here? Let's look around a bit more. We need to find out more about this Boston Tea Party. Well, this looks like the end of the path. Thank goodness, my dress is getting muddy. A map of Boston, in Massachusetts. Boston has around 15,000 inhabitants and is a very important colonial city. Ah, uh, some civilized lodgings at last. I must admit that fire does feel good. The winter in Massachusetts Bay Colony can freeze the bones. A wig powderer. Many men and women wear wigs. And if your wig's looking a little dull... You can puff some white powder on it to brighten it up. I can't believe it. Samuel Adams. Uh, um, my name's James Hiller. I'm a reporter for the Pennsylvania Gazette. Apprentice reporter. Excuse me, sir, but my name's Sarah Phillips, and we would like to ask you some questions if you don't mind. Well, well. Reporters from the Gazette, eh? I trust that you are for the cause of liberty. Before I speak with you, I need you to find something for me. 
there's a scroll with the names of all the Sons of Liberty, including some very important and influential people in Boston. It was misplaced somewhere around the Old North Church. Will you get it for me? Ah, the missing scroll. Some important people here in Boston will be very relieved to know this hasn't fallen into the wrong hands. We need for the truth of British oppression to be heard throughout the colonies. What would you like to know? Who do you think destroyed the tea? Someone who doesn't want to be pushed around by the British government anymore, that's for certain. It was the Sons of Liberty, a group of men strongly opposed to British rule. We, I mean they, were disguised as Mohawk Indians. What actually happened to the tea? It didn't end up in any loyalist's cup, that's for sure. The crates of tea were broken open, and all the tea was thrown overboard and given a good soaking in the harbor. When was the tea destroyed? It was destroyed at a very significant time. It was the evening of December 16th, 1773 just a few hours before the midnight deadline requiring the tea to be unloaded or confiscated in order to pay the taxes due. Where was the tea destroyed? Let's just say that Boston Harbor witnessed quite a tea party. Though most people prefer hot water with their tea. Why do you think the tea was destroyed? Why? You picked the right person to ask why. To make a point. Parliament has no right trying to take away our rights to govern ourselves. We will not submit to British tyranny. Use the arrow cursor to travel around. Click on people you'd like to interview. Use the hand cursor to pick up objects and place them in your toolbar. The sketch pad in the toolbar allows you to put a sketch of a scene in your notebook. This is the notebook. Welcome back. Did you learn anything about the Boston Tea Party? We sure did. And you were right. There were lots of different opinions out there about what happened. And lots of interesting people to talk to. I was surprised how strong some feelings are against the British Parliament and the King, even though we are all British subjects. Well, as reporters, your next task is to decide which quotes you want to put in your story. We want our readers to get the clearest and most accurate information about the Tea Party. Head over to the editing desk on the back wall, and I'll tell you what to do next. This is the editing desk. Select a part of your story and then choose a quote for that section. You'll notice that some people gave you facts while others didn't really know what went on. Try to pick the best quotes from your notebook. You can always get feedback from me to help you learn which quotes contain better information. 
When you're all done, come back and I'll tell you what to do next. Feedback appears below each of your quotes. Good work. If you think you have finished editing your story, go to the layout area in front of the printing press to design the front page of your newspaper. This is the layout area, where you can make your newspaper front page look just the way you want before you print it out. Choose a sketch for your front page and type in a headline. Publish the paper once you are finished. If you're done designing your front page, go back to the layout area to publish your newspaper. We need to This is the layout area where you can make your newspaper front page We need to get the truth out about the Boston Tea Party. It's important that all the colonies know what's happening. We should be as one, united in a common cause. Your story is key in making that happen. Let's get it published. You can check out the chalkboard to see how many newspapers your story has sold. We should send a copy to Ben in London on the next ship. It'll take a couple of months to reach him, but he'll want to see how you two are doing and hear about the news. Well, 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 not bad. Not bad at all, James and Sarah. It looks like Moses is teaching you well. Boston Tea Party, eh? I'm not sure that was the wisest thing for the Sons of Liberty to do. But what's done is done. From what I've heard, the British are sending more soldiers to Boston. They believe the colonies are in open rebellion. 
Representatives from the colonies have met together to decide what to do. With the colonists stockpiling weapons and gunpowder, I fear that trouble of a very significant nature is brewing. Well, James and Sarah, it's been over a year since the Boston Tea Party. It's a good thing Ben is on his way back from London. The mood in the colonies is getting ugly. I want you to be ready to go at a moment's notice. Certainly, Moses. You can count on us. As reporters, you'll have to ask the right questions and get the facts and opinions that make the most accurate and interesting story. As a matter of fact, an exciting assignment has just come in. You'll find it over on the bulletin board. 